Clifford Cox is not only the incredibly creative and prolific force behind the band Deer Hunter and his side project Atlas Sound, but he's also an extraordinarily fascinating dude. We interviewed him in a dingy hotel room in the Catskills where he was very open, including about some things that some of his fans won't even know. For example, that he is a practicing Christian. I read an interview where you were doing a joint interview with a liar. We were drowning sound, yeah. And you talked a lot about being a Christian in there. And I then asked your publicist, is Bradford a Christian? She said, absolutely not. He must have been She's kidding. She's Jewish. She's in denial. <laughs> do you think most of your fans know that you're influenced by gospel music and would call yourself a Christian? I feel a bit, you know, sad, like, kind of about the fact that, you know, my personality is not really able to be translated to the kind of audience that would be interested in my music. What do you mean by that? I mean, and I feel this is true for most musicians, I mean, if you really knew how they felt about a lot of things, they'd be viewed differently, you know? One reason why I don't go down the whole oh, talking about Christianity or religion very often is because, number one, I see how people have perverted Christianity through history. And the second, you know, thing is I've seen how, you know, on a much lighter note, you know, I've seen cultural, culturally speaking, I've seen how, you know, if a musician says, oh, I'm a Christian or something, it's all they are from now on is Christian. Well, it affected my family in, in horrible ways. What do you mean? I mean, financially, uh, Wait, was it, surgeries. It, you need a lot of surgery. Pain, physical pain. I mean, the cover, have you seen the cover of my new album, Logos? No. The cover of my album is kind of a graphic photo of like uh, a deformity I used to have. And you know, a lot of people would say, oh, he's trying to like rub it in. Oh, we know Bradford, you're, you're sick, you have this disease. It's like, no, that's not, I'm not trying to like make you feel sorry for me. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to do anything, actually. It's just the photo that ended up on the cover. And so like when I was 16, I spent like a lot of time in hospitals. And it's just kind of like, well, maybe that's where my adolescence kind of paused or stalled out. I mean, let me ask you some questions. What do you think about your 16th summer? What are, you, what are your, some of your fondest memories? I actually voluntarily went to summer school. Well, that's awesome. So your 16th summer, I would imagine... I was unconscious. The whole summer? I believe so, yeah. I mean, you'd have to ask my parents. I mean, I don't... Rem I mean, I was on more, you know, morphine, o o you know, hydrocodone, and I had a drainage pipe. This seems to be, obviously, the crucible in which some of your art and your inspiration was forged. Probably, if, you know, if you would have asked me 10 years ago if I was a Christian, I would be like, you know... No, God screwed me. Yeah, I mean, I would, you know. What changed? Um, I realized how lucky I was. I'm not even totally gay, you know. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sexually active. I'm abstinent. You're abstinent? Yeah. I mean, you, you never had sex? Never had sex. Because you don't want to, or is it a choice? A religious choice, or? It's not exactly anything, really. It's just, you know, how, not the, how the world treats me. Music dominates my life. Just like, you know, uh, and music to me is religious. I don't want to be anything but a musician. I don't want to, you know, be the gay kid or the Christian kid. But I don't think you're thought of that way. I, you are thought of. Oh, no, not yet. You are thought of as an incredibly prolific and creative music. Well, I guess the reason why that is is because I don't have sex and uh, <laughs> pray for creative uh, urges. I'm kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I, I don't know what I am. <laughs>